wealth by the substance of everlasting life has no limits retirement money have you heard about that now, retirement money now when you talk about retirement money you know sometimes you'll see advertisements on the television if you watch the television you know they'll talk about well you got to have this much to last this long mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm talking about oh and you don't have enough to last that long is what they'll tell you right and so you got to have and really what it means is the more you have to have a certain amount say a certain amount, a certain amount. To live a certain amount of time and in a certain amount of lifestyle if you had a lot of money then you could live a longer amount of time in a longer and better lifestyle does that make sense i mean it's not too difficult but when people retire they want to have a nest egg or a certain amount of money in order to be able to live a long say live a long time long right time. and and in a means which they want to live nobody wants to live you know on the side of the road in a shack for 35 years nobody wants to do that you understand so you've heard about this retirement money now everlasting life what what is it like when we get to heaven what kind of money do you think you're gonna need you think you're gonna get to the front door and they're gonna say well you can only stay here a certain amount of time because you've only got a certain amount of money to live this way for that long mm -hmm. is that the way it's gonna be no. no so somehow you know you could call it the re great retirement in the sky are you here mm -hmm. but somehow it's got to be provided for that you can live a long is everlasting life a long time yes. that's a very long time so there must be are you here I'm just trying to get you to follow a certain amount of logic that in heaven everlasting life must include say must include, must include. provision financial provision for you to live that long mm -hmm. how much would that be well if you're considering retirement amounts it's got to be a lot mm -hmm. everlasting life must therefore provide for your financial needs an extended or an everlasting everlasting say everlasting. everlasting an everlasting amount of time well how could it be well I'm gonna show you here in a second but follow me everlasting life is very akin to remember Jesus and the miracle of the loaves and fishes mm -hmm. how much did they have as much as they needed until they were all filled mm -hmm. right yes. what if they needed more what would have happened it would have kept multiplying how about the the remember the woman with the oil mm -hmm. it kept running until she ran out of containers to put it in That's right. where'd that oil come from it came from the gift of the working of miracles but it had to be a force of ev everlasting life it's the same thing that happens in heaven you understand yeah. now what do we do we always put everything off till heaven don't we that's what everybody does mm -hmm. well everlasting life is what you receive here and now mm -hmm. are you here Go to Galatians chapter 6. Let's look at verse 6. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. What, what do you think he's talking about here? Well, he would be talking about the tithe and the offering. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Would you give me that? It's simply about giving and receiving. Yes. Finance, say financially. Financially so is your Bible talking about giving and receiving financially mm -hmm. yeah right here it is and then verse 7 be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man sows that shall he also reap could he possibly be talking about sowing financially mm -hmm. yes because he was just talking in verse 6 about that to give unto him that teaches then he calls it don't be deceived that's sowing and you shall also reap what shall you reap read on here for he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that sows to the spirit mm -hmm. shall also of the spirit reap what everlasting life. everlasting life so here he's connecting you say me me, me in my giving and my sowing to reaping what 
well more money because you sold money you're gonna reap more money well how it what's the mechanism by which that money is gonna manifest try saying that three times fast the mechanism by which the money manifests it says right here shall of the spirit reap everlasting life are you seeing the connection there is a substance called everlasting life which is what you reap and it goes out into your finances and it goes into your affairs and it causes things to work out for your benefit it goes out into your bank accounts it goes out into your say everlasting life, everlasting life. goes out, goes out. Into, into my things and what's it do it causes you to reap it multiplies what you've sown are you here yes. is this any good yeah. I thought it was pretty good now there's no limit to everlasting life is there a limit to everlasting life God said oh you've already reaped enough of that no the limit is when you've had enough how many scriptures do I need to take you to where it says he gives you until you've had enough he satisfies all your needs what's the limit in heaven there's no limit there what's the limit on earth there's no limit there because it's the same everlasting life that affects your finances say this the same, the same. everlasting life everlasting affects life. my finances today, today. Is that any good yes. hallelujah what does he say you're gonna reap you're gonna reap everlasting life it's the force it's the substance of everlasting life that goes into your affairs and causes it to multiply and do things for you and there's no limit to it is this make you happy at all yes. there's no limit to it wealth by the substance of everlasting life has no limits it's the same everlasting life that you're gonna be living on in the future why does everybody put it off to the future because they don't understand that that's the substance they're reaping now yes. say I reap it now, reap it now. Everlasting, life. everlasting life come to me, come to me. Now, now in Jesus, name. in Jesus name now giving starts the receiving cycle is why Jesus said it's more blessed to give than receive and if you've already given and we're gonna give and if we've already given what have we started the receiving cycle what are we supposed to receive everlasting life and part of the power that I have as a minister is the power to bless those who par partner with me and who partake of giving and receiving so raise your hands up and I bless you in Jesus name and I command the power of everlasting life to begin to affect your retirement funds to begin to affect your bank accounts and all the situations shall begin to increase and grow exponentially I bless you in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost of God.